there guys it's Kim George here from yourchicgeek.com wow and it's been a little while since I have uh, blessed you guys no I'm kidding guys <laughs> no it's been a little while since I put together a um, video tutorial for you guys but I wanted to drop in today to show you something um, really a quick tip that I've kind of picked up and something that I apply two different graphics when I'm creating landing pages, um, you know, sales pages, all of that kinds of stuff and more using Canva and it is the drop shadow effect. I just absolutely love how it looks. Um, I, I apply it to uh, my blog content and all that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys really how quickly and easily it is or easy it is to apply this to your graphics to kind of dress them up a little bit just to give them that kind of drop that drop drop shadow effect I can't even talk <laughs> I cannot even talk guys that's how excited I am about this but yeah quick tip here and let's go ahead and get off into it so what we're going to be doing today is I'm actually going to um, head over to um, a couple of graphics that I've created from the blazing a graphics kit or blazing uh, yeah the blazing graphics kit that I've created in case you're interested in that this is a, a kit with over 60 plus different social media uh, templates that you can get these are some of the ones that I have uh, pre-designed for you for those of you that want to uh, save time and you don't want to struggle with you know sitting and trying to design graphics from scratch uh, this is over 60 plus graphics that you can use to market and promote your business beautifully on social media and uh, with these graphics, for example, it is easy to change the colors. Uh, there's video tutorials that show you how to do all of that and so on and so forth. So you see how easy it was for me to do that. That is just how easy it is to do this using these graphics. Anyway, um, really quickly, though, we're going to be using a couple of tools. Um, I'm going to be using Canva for Work, a.k.a. Canva Pro. They have rebranded. So Canva for Work is now Canva Pro. And then I'm also going to be using a um, tool which is called iPicky.com. This is a free tool, guys, that you can use. And there's all kind of different things that you can do with this. But again, the drop shadow effect and applying that to graphics is one of my favorite little DIY design tips um, and tricks that I do a lot. So let's show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and download this graphic here which is on page number two um, to and then apply that uh, apply the drop shadow effect to this graphic really quickly so I'm gonna go ahead to download and over in Canva Pro I'm gonna go over here to the right to make sure that it says PNG I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to where it says select pages I'm gonna click the drop down arrow I'm gonna select page number two okay I'm going to click done and then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to download this graphic because I don't want to download all of the graphics in this set. I just want to only download this one graphic. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, it's just a little cute quote graphic. And the, then the next thing that I'm going to do for step two is I'm going to head over to ipicky.com. So that's I-P-I-C-C-Y.com. Now, just for you guys, um, just a little heads up, there are links below that will take you directly to ipicky.com and then also Canva Pro. Just as a heads up, there is an affiliate link for Canva Pro. But, um, you know, so in case you decide to you know upgrade your Canva free account to the Pro account, I will get a small commission. I just want to be transparent. But Canva is a tool that I use, guys to that solves about 99.9% .9 of all of my design challenges like for real for real anyways let's go ahead and apply this drop shadow so I'm gonna go ahead and go to open I'm gonna go to my computer and then I'm going to navigate to where I saved the graphic that I just downloaded in um, from Canva okay from the blazing graphics kit and if you're interested in learning more about that there is a link for uh, that goes to the kit so you can take a look at the graphics and stuff that's included in there okay so I'm gonna go to downloads because it should be in there and here the graphic is so I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna click open okay so this is what the graphic looks like it's just pretty plain Jane it's nothing to it you know but this is what it looks like so in order to apply the drop shadow effect to this graphic using iPicky I'm gonna go here to the little postage stamp looking uh, uh, design or the postage stamp looking icon where it says frames I'm gonna click on frames okay and as you can see it's gonna come up with different types of borders you have a basic museum glossy mirror there's all kind of neat little things that you can do again with iPicky so I'm just gonna go ahead and click drop shadow as you can see it created the nice looking drop shadow effect 
around the graphic. Now, I typically use, uh, uh, not typically, uh, yeah, I typically leave this as default is what I was trying to say, meaning that I don't really go in and change anything else. But if you want to change like maybe the fade and things like that, you see you can do that. Again, I just like to keep it as default. If you want to make it even more pronounced, you can do that. Or you can go over to kind of keep it back at 15. You can change the angle. Okay, you can change the size. There's a lot of different things that you can do, the distance, all of that kinds of stuff. But again, I keep it at default um, with whatever it comes, you know, whatever the settings are originally. Whenever I click on drop down or the drop shadow effect, I keep it at black. Uh, for the shadow, I keep it at black. And in the background, I keep, keep it as transparent. And you definitely want to do that so that people can see the actual effect. Anywho, after you click on drop shadow, guys, what you have to do in order to apply this to your graphic is click apply. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save. I'm going to save this to my computer and then I will rename this to Blazing IG Graphics uh, Drop Shadow. Okay, and then I'm going to save this to my computer and I will save it to the desktop this time. Please don't judge me. There's a lot of crap <laughs> on the desktop. But this is what it looks like, guys. And again, I just love this effect. I think it just makes the graphics and stuff look a little bit more pronounced. It just makes it look a little edgier for me. And it's just something that I love to do, like I said, especially when I'm writing blog content. And I kind of want to give my images and things a little boost. Or when I'm putting together mock-ups and things like that, I love applying the drop shadow effect to my different graphics. So again, guys, just a quick tip. And I uh, wanted to show you guys really quickly how easy it is to add that kind of effect to your graphics. Again, for those of you that are interested in wanting to learn more about the Blazing Graphics Kit, you can head over to the link below. There's going to be a link there. And if you just want to get more tips, tutorials, and different um, information that you can use in your business for DIY design or for tech, head over to yourchicgeek.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day. Holla!